God is not looking for, he's not looking for anybody, everybody, just anybody. Say so he's looking for, Jesus said, that's John chapter 4, verse 20, uh, 22, so far from verse 21 to 24. Jesus clarified it to that woman to say, look, God is looking for those who will worship him in truth and in spirit. In truth and in spirit. So, question is, what does it mean to worship God in truth and in spirit? What does it mean to worship God in truth and in spirit? Jesus said in John 14, 6, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He said, no one comes to the Father except through me. If you have the Son, you have life. If you don't have the Son, there's no life in you, but the anger of God awaits such a person. That is the scripture. So how can you, in other words, if you have Jesus Christ, you have that truth. And if you are worshiping through Christ, you are now worshiping in truth. What about worshiping in spirit? What about worshiping in spirit? The conversation Jesus had, as recorded in John chapter 3, with Nicodemus, Jesus made it plain. He said, what is born of the flesh is flesh. All of us, we are born of women. And we are flesh. But what is born of the spirit is spirit. A born again child of God is one that is born of the spirit. Hallelujah. So if you now possess, like I said in Romans 8, 9 to 11, if you don't have the spirit of Christ, you don't belong to him. Praise the name of the Lord. So if you are born of Christ, you now have the spirit. And that is when you can worship in truth and in spirit. And the Bible says, Jesus uh, told the woman, he said, these are the kind of people that God is looking for. God is not just everybody. Come and worship me. Come and worship me. I am looking for those who will worship me in truth and in spirit. The question is, are you born again? You know, some, uh, at times, pastor will say, why, why don't you want to born again, to get born again? I say, I have the answer. Because you don't want to tamper with your freedom. Oh, yeah. Because if you call yourself a Christian, it does not affect the business you do and the way you do the business. It does not affect the friends you keep. It does not affect the places you visit. Check your born again. So, <laughs> praise the name of the Lord. So some people don't want to give up that freedom. I have heard a lot of people say, I was born in a Christian home. I like church. That's why I don't miss church. But this born again, keep it. Let me just be going to church and worship God. You are welcome. <laughs> but, but convert from Samaritan worship to true Christian worship by getting born again. Hallelujah. And somebody will now raise his shoulder above his head. I am born again. So worship is for us. Before you start raising that shoulder, it's something you need to check. It's something you need to check. <laughs>